Hi guys, I got three nice turntables to show you today. One of them is my own, two of them I'm fixing up for my father-in-law, essentially to sell them. Let's take a look. So this is the first one I wanted to show you. This is my turntable that I use with my headphones. It's the uh, Techniques quartz, uh, quartz Drive, so that's great. Uh, direct Drive SLQ2. I got this from a guy in Toronto a few years ago. He gave me a really good deal and he took really good care of it. I'm sure he wasn't the original owner, but that's okay. Um, he knew what he was doing. So the plastic is in really good shape. The hinges are a little iffy. The thing doesn't want to really stay up all the time, so you have to be careful. Um, but it's got all your, it sort of has all your bells and whistles. It's got the auto return, which I really like because I, I like to be able to sort of drift off or not have to pay attention in that regard. So it's got the auto return. Um, of course, it has the strobe here. <clears throat> and the um, the funny thing is, is that there is no pitch control. So you have to take the platter off and use a screwdriver to actually set the speed. And then you have to hope you got it close or right and then you have to check it and then you have to take the platter off again and it, like it's it'd be a bit of a hassle i've never had to do it and the speed is bang on so pretty lucky about that right now i've just got a audio technica a cartridge on there but it's quite you know it's 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 decent it's a 50 dollar cartridge or something and i use my my new headphones my audio technica athm 40 x's and these are fantastic so that's my little setup but the two i really wanted to show you are over here these are the ones my father-in-law gave me to fix up a little bit. <clears throat> the first one is a Sanyo, also an auto return. It's called the TP-1010. So that's the Sanyo there. The cartridge is almost, it's its out of print. I don't know, what do you call that? It's out, it's out of production. They, uh, they don't do, there we go. They don't do these cartridges anymore. And so they're suggesting like a sure, what, what's it called? M, M95E or something like that. But the problem with that is, of course, Sure has basically stopped making cartridges too. So I'll just have to come up with, you know, I don't know, something of my choice. It doesn't have to be a Sure. But anyway, uh, the needles, the stylus is all worn on it anyway. So uh, it's a belt drive and uh, they have the strobe. So they've got that and that's good. Plus they do have the pitch control here. Now I don't know how any of this works. I haven't tried anything with it yet, but um, it, I can probably get it to work, no problem. And this, you know, the S-shaped tone arm, like on my techniques, you know, very nice, very nice. In fact, identical, I would dare say. <clears throat> and anti-skate and all that. So, you know, it's uh, it's good. It looks like it's gonna be a good little, uh, good little setup. The funny thing is, is that my father-in-law gave me this with it which is sort of a cover, but it's not the cover. The hinges miss by about this much. Like I can get one hinge in, but the other one won't. So it's clearly a mismatched cover, which is really too bad because when you sell, I, I'm preparing this to sell it. Uh, same with this one. These are the two he gave me to fix up and, and sell on Kijiji. And the thing is, is that um, people really want the plastic, which I don't blame them. And, uh, you know, just as completionist things go, I mean, it sounds better without it, but still. Um, but there's a lot of work here, taking off these stickers and buffing everything. And I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to bother with that. There's a lot of work there. But anyway, this is what my father-in-law does. He's sort of a sticker uh, slash license plate kind of collector kind of guy. And so this is what he's done with his uh, mismatched plastic cover. So I wish I could figure out what this is for because it's probably if I could clean it up someone would probably give me 30 bucks just for that alone um the hinges are in good shape but it's probably not going to matter anyway so that's that uh that sanyo so come over to this one this is a jvc uh this one's probably a little lower on the totem pole the sanyo is probably sitting in around 1979 uh this one's probably sitting in around 1981 uh so again jvc which is fine they you know they made decent turntables but this probably isn't one of them um it's also a belt drive and uh, two-speed, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's worth 40 bucks in a thrift store. Just a pretty drastic plastic, you know, basic uh, straight tone arm, uh, no-name brand cartridge. I checked that out. But the interesting thing about that cartridge is, is it's in decent shape, or the stylus is. So, you know, that could work. <clears throat> then they've got, um, you know, well, the auto cue, of course. We all have that. And uh, you can, uh, this is interesting. So this is like the opposite of, my techniques okay so with this one you can adjust uh the speed there is a pitch control um but there's no way of knowing visually there's no strobe 
So you need to rely on what you hear. And that's tricky. I mean, sometimes you can count on that, but on, honestly, sometimes you can't. So sometimes even something that sounds good, if it's not at the right pitch or the right speed, and then you hear it when it is the right pitch and speed, like it's messed up because you've been listening to something that's been incorrect. So um, that's tricky, having a pitch control with no strobe. And it does come with the plastic, again, the ubiquitous stickers from my father-in-law, but uh, that's good. Uh, this very Canadian over here. So yeah, um, the two the two units I'm gonna fix up and uh, and see what they're worth.